Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about the top five beginner dragons for new players. Basically, the first five dragons from the first few tiers that I think were most valuable or most exciting to get. Now, we're probably going to do at least one or two from each of the first couple tiers and then give a couple honorable mentions um, within that tier that were helpful to get to those better dragons. Now, it is worth mentioning at first that this will apply primarily to players around level 30 to 50 because the first few tiers up to level orange I think requires level 28 to get orange tier and then you have to be above 40 I think to get green dragon so we'll probably go up to green we might end up with a couple more than five but we're going to highlight the top dragons and give a little bit of a tutorial on um, how they work. So the first dragon we're going to start off with from red tier is Ember. Ember is a hunter that has a death gaze spell unlocked right away. Now, unfortunately, if you want to level up the dragon much further, you will have to pay like real cash to get the extra stones to level him up. But for free, you can still level him up and get him to a reasonable level. And Ember is very useful, not only at the beginning of the game because he has a death gaze that can really help to take out some of the towers that are problematic even though it is red it is still useful if you can get the red mage down you can also equip other spells to make him a little bit more effective but i still use him and most players will still say they use ember a lot whether it's for cleanup dragon against lower level bases um or if it's for farming chests from a chest farming base to kill the monuments, uh, you can put on riders and gear to make him stronger so he can hit higher level towers. Unfortunately, at this level, he will not kill max towers with his death gaze, but you will get a lot of use out of his death gaze, even up to several of the higher tiers. So as a hunter dragon, you have to tap each time you want to fire a shot of his ammo now you do have a limited amount of ammo before it has to take time to refill but while you're waiting you can use the death gaze to take out towers that might be dealing damage to you now the next dragon that we are going to talk about is kinara this is a sorcerer dragon from the red tier and this dragon is very useful once you get kinara it definitely helps to take out um, some harder bases now kinara has a lightning spell and and a summon warrior and they are both red so we're gonna go into a bit of detail on what that means thankfully you can still cast the red summon warrior spell even though a red mage is present and what the summon warrior does is it does damage to towers nearby and it takes all the ammo shots from towers that would instead hit your dragon um, and because it's a sorcery, it uses the swipe attack, so you swipe in circles or side to side over the towers you want to destroy. Once your summon is destroyed, you can just cast it again to uh, bring up another one. And then this lightning spell is also very nice at these lower tiers because when you cast it on a tower, it bounces to other towers and does a lot of damage. However, if there is a red mage present and you try to cast the lightning spell on a tower that is covered by the red mage, it will not deal damage to any of those towers and you'll have wasted the rage in casting that spell. Okay, so we've gotten two dragons now out of the way. We're going to move on to purple tier. Now, there are a couple honorable mentions that were kind of useful in getting through this tier. I remember using Borg and Gog a, a fair amount, and so they were pretty useful in progressing through this tier. But the top dragon um, that I want to mention next from the purple tier is Arboreas. This is a warrior and this dragon is a tank. He has a heal spell that allows him to gain back a lot of health and he has stone shield which reduces the damage that he takes and then he has ballista resist so if you face a base at that tier that has ballistas um, it will decrease the damage you take from them. So let's take a look at how he flies. As a warrior, you can see the breath attack. You just hold the screen in the location you want to do damage, and it does continuous damage while you're 
facing them. And then once you start taking damage, if there's no blue mage present, you can use the heal spell to gain back a lot of the health that you have lost. This can be really helpful to allow your dragon to survive throughout the entire battle. And then again, if there's a blue mage, you can't use the stone shield, but with a blue mage absent, you can use it to take less damage and then use the heal to gain back any health that you have lost. And so this dragon, once you get him, will make a lot of fights a lot easier as well. And once you get higher level and you still do events like Assault or Temple Raid, you will have to go and attack tiers with lower tier dragons. And Arboreus is one that I rely on a lot to defeat those tiers when those specific events are active. Now moving on to our fourth top dragon for new players, we're going into blue tier. Now, the top dragon from this tier, I personally am more partial to hunters, so I want to say Druid, but Etzel is also a very valuable dragon to have from the blue tier. So, depending on your play style and which types of dragons you prefer hopefully by now you've had enough time to experience what the different types are like and which you prefer but druid and etzel are both very valuable dragons honorable mention goes out to bolt um, a hunter with a death gaze which makes him very valuable at that tier as well as well as gripe which i felt like was a fairly strong um, warrior dragon for this tier that helped me as well What's great about Druid is that you can use the red spell, which is called a Healing Hunter's Mark, and when you use it on a tower and destroy that tower, then you will gain health back. And this is very useful. If you can take out the red mages and they're not in the way, you can place it on a tower or even place it on monuments. And so when you destroy those monuments or those towers, you gain back health and it helps you to survive throughout some of the more challenging islands that you're facing. He also has this blue spell, which if a blue mage is not present again, you can activate it to avoid taking not all, but sometimes most of the damage that you would be taking, and then try to quickly fly over the island and avoid a lot of the strong towers that might have killed you otherwise. So you can see I still take some damage, but I avoid a lot of the damage and quickly fly across that island to move on on to the next. Now, Etzel is also a sorcerer who has a summon warrior spell, which we saw previously with Kanara. And this summon warrior takes damage from the towers and deals damage. But he, this dragon also has a freeze spell that you can cast on a very large area that deals damage and freezes the towers temporarily so they stop dealing damage. This can be a very useful spell to protect you from taking a lot of damage to protect your summon from taking a lot of damage and it um, allows you to take out some more challenging bases as long as you've gotten rid of the red mages. So if you start attacking a base with, for example, a hunter like Druid and then come in with this dragon, you can freeze a lot of the towers which will deal damage and protect you from damage that they would otherwise be dealing to you. So both of those dragons are very strong for blue tier and that already brings us up to five dragons, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give a shout out to the other top dragons that I like from orange tier as well as green tier. So once you're level 28, you can start getting orange tier dragons. And from this tier, the top dragon in my opinion, and I think others will agree, is Amarok. Now I do not have some of these other dragons, which others might enjoy playing, but Amarok is a very strong dragon. He has uh, an explosive shield, which I will demonstrate soon, as well as a cure poison. Now, this in itself removes the poison from the attacks of a, a ballista. But if you get the right research, which you might learn about as you progress in the game, then this spell actually will also heal the dragon. So it can be very useful. 
So Amarok is a warrior, so he does use the breath attack damage. Now, if there is no blue mage or you can take it down ahead of time, you can use the explosive shield, which absorbs a lot of damage that you would otherwise take. And when the shield ends, it explodes and deals a large burst of damage to the towers in range. And then the cure poison is good to get rid of the poison effect, but if you have the research for it, it does heal a small portion. So this dragon is very useful useful once you unlock him and he will be very useful for those events that I mentioned earlier that require you to uh, fight bases from lower tiers that using the lower tier dragons. Honorable mention from this tier would go to Enki and Nos. They are also very useful for defeating the um, tier specific content from certain events that I have been mentioning. Um, they are hunters that require a little bit more practice and skill to fly, but Enki has a death gaze spell, which is very useful. So finally, we're going to mention one dragon from green tier. This is something to look forward to. At this point, you're probably already level 40 to 50, and you'll be working towards getting some of these higher tier dragons in green tier. And my favorite one is Etten, mostly because he's a hunter and I love hunters, but Etten has a lot of value because Etten has a cloak as well as a healing mark and a self-destruct, which can be useful in some situations. Other honorable mentions from the green tier include Danzig, which is a very strong warrior, and Munin, which is a fairly useful sorcerer as well. So Etten is a hunter, and you have to tap to fire ammo. And if you cloak, you can stay hidden from the towers so they will not be dealing damage to you. It lasts quite a long time, so you can fly over top of towers or decide to attack them before you leave their range. Now, as we discussed this healing mark, if you get rid of the red mage, you can place it on a tower so that you can attack it and destroy it to gain back some health. And the, unfortunately, the cloak is blue, so a blue mage does prevent you from using it. So if we go against this island here and we try to cloak, as soon as we get in range of the blue mage, it will cancel the spell until we destroy it. Then we can cloak again to get away from the damage. And then finally, this destruction spell, you will kill yourself with it, but at the same time, you can destroy some towers. So if you're almost dead, you can just use that to destroy whatever remaining towers you can. So I do hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you again in another video.